Righto, Taliota champs, I hope you're all doing well out there. As you can see here, this is the XPS 15, and this is the gorgeous white one, and oh my god, it is so sexy. And this is my long-term review, which I love the long-term reviews, because you get to see all the BIOS and revisions, and this is done with the latest BIOS, and yes, that is the September 15 one. So what is the situation with the XPS 15 right now? So I've already done a review on this. I'll leave a link in the description where you can look at that. I was always going to do a long-term review, but I had to do it now with this sexy white model. And the model I have here, unfortunately, you cannot get the i9 with the white at the moment. But this model here comes with the 10750H, which is the 6-core processor, and a GTX 1650 and 16GB of RAM. It also comes with Windows Pro. Now, if you have a laptop and you want to upgrade your Windows Home to Windows Pro, check out my description. I have a discount for you. Use my promo code. Very cheap. You can also get Office 2019. But this one actually come with Windows Pro. And what was strange about that is, I tried to upgrade the BIOS straight away and it wouldn't let me because it was doing BitLocker so it was encrypting the drive that's one thing you get with Windows Pro you get BitLocker but that was a strange one it wouldn't actually let me upgrade the BIOS until that encryption had finished that's never happened to me on a laptop before anyway my XPS 15 review my three criticisms were well I didn't get 100% Adobe RGB with the display well this one has 100% Adobe RGB it's over 500 nits tick the trackpad sort of had a two-step feeling to it looking back on it now it was a faulty one i've had two xps's now like the xps 17 and this one as well perfect trackpad the trackpad's good so we get a tick there and they've sorted that problem then the other criticism was we want more juice right we want more power with the latest bios we get that we'll talk about that later so for now within the scope of what this laptop was designed for it's pretty much perfection as close as you can get to perfection i mean the macbook ray 16 would be in this territory too but there's actually nothing to criticize here perfection is small things done well everything is done well on this laptop and yes it's not going to be the thermal king or performance king like a gaming laptop that's beyond the scope of what it was designed for for what it's designed for it is more than fit for purpose and it's pretty much as close as perfection as you're going to get and just comparing it to say the macbook Pro 16. I've always said the MacBook Pro 16 does look the best from the outside. They always do these Macs. They're beautiful. But when you open this thing up and all you see is display and in this white model and look at it side by side now. Look at a pop of that display compared to the Mac. Now the Mac is more color accurate. I'll give you that. But you can change the XPS to be like that. But look at it all screen. It is much more compact than the MacBook Pro 16 as well. So the thing that you stare at all day that screen white sexy oh my god wow it's just the dream laptop and everything i wanted it has it has the two m.2 drives you can upgrade the ram you get two thunderbolt threes that's what i wanted all display i also wanted 16 by 10 it literally is my dream <laughs> And they just gone and done it. They just gone and done it. And how can I forget? They done it in white too, which is what I want. Actually, I want to know in the comments, which one do you prefer, the black one or the white one? So before I get into the performance compared to what it was with the old BIOS, when would you buy this and when would you buy the XPS 17? Even with this BIOS upgrade, the XPS 17 will go harder for longer than the XPS 15, but it's very close now. There is not much difference if we're talking 1650 versus 1650, the same graphics card and same CPU. But of course, with the XPS 17, you do get the option of the 2060. Now, that does cause some battery drain in the XPS 17. And if you're going to choose between the two, this is much lighter than the XPS 17 and it's more compact. So if that's what you want, go with this if you don't mind the laptop being a bit heavier and you want a bigger display and you want more performance of the 2060 you go to xps 17 that's the simplest way i can put it these on the macbook pro 16 well the macbook pro 16 is actually the goldilocks it's right in between right it's actually lighter than the xps 15 but it is a bigger footprint but with the 5600m graphics in it you're getting slightly better performance in gpu than the xps 17 but not quite as much cpu performance so it sort of sits in the middle there so i could see you going with that one as well 
Now, when it comes to the BIOS upgrades, now before when you ran Cinebench, it would go down to 15 watts at the end of Cinebench. It'll go hard, but then it would just crank down to about 15 watts. Now it goes down to 52 watts at the end of Cinebench. That's PL1. That's good. Now I've put up some benchmarks. I did do content creation. I did do gaming benchmarks with the new BIOS. I only put up the benchmarks where there was a difference. There were a lot of benchmarks where it was like one or two frames difference. Or for example, in content creation, if you're doing Adobe products, forget about it. An eGPU didn't make a difference. The BIOS upgrade didn't make a difference. It was actually slower with an eGPU in a lot of cases. But for gaming with an eGPU, you can get up to double the performance, even more than double, depending on what graphics card. With this Radeon 7, I was getting double the performance in gaming. All of a sudden, I would play Flight Simulator 3440 by 1440 at ultra settings, and I could double the performance. If I had DA GPU, that resolution wasn't even playable with the standard graphics card. The good news is, with this XPS 15, you still will be able to play 1080p, High settings flight simulator at around 27 FPS. That is good. Every other game you throw at it, it's probably going to be high settings 60 FPS. And I actually got a few frames here and there. Performance game with the new BIOS. As I said, some didn't really make a difference. And the behavior where it would go to 15 watts on the CPU, 40 watts on the GPU, that doesn't happen as often with the new BIOS. Now it will sort of do that. It will go down to 15 watts CPU, but it will go to 50 watts GPU, an extra 10 watts on the GPU. But most of the time I gamed, that never happened at all. That only happened on Flight Simulator and Battlefield after about 40 minutes. Of course, you can go in, limit the power on the CPU. You will get more GPU power that way. But as it stands now, most of the time when you game, you're going to be around 40 watts CPU and 40 watts GPU. And as I said, it can go down to that 15 watts on the CPU and 50 watts on the GPU, seemingly arbitrarily. But we did get what we want. We got more power at it most of the time. It's going to be like that in Cinebench, certainly. With the eGPU, as I said, for content creation, Adobe, forget about it. Gaming, you can get up to double or even more than double the performance. And with certain content creation, it's going to be game changing having eGPU. GPU, right? We're talking, say, Luxmark, you know, 9,000 versus 48,000 or whatever. And that's the good thing about this is you can add the eGPU, it makes a difference. You add an eGPU to, say, an RTX 2070 gaming laptop, really, it's, it's not even worth it. So overall, I'm happy with this package. Long term, they fixed pretty much everything I didn't like about it in the first review. And hats off to them. They've done a great job. XPS 15, XPS 17. They are the dream laptops. And yeah, Wolf, highly recommended. And the thing is, they're just going to get better, right? Hopefully they have an AMD system next year, special edition. They've got to sort out the Thunderbolt thing. Hopefully they do that. And yeah, the 11th gen Intel CPUs, the 3000 series, you know, GPUs. The XPS is just going to get better. So thanks guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Tell me. Oh.